So this problem is going to cover how to calculate the composition of a pair of isotopes when we know the average mass of those isotopes. And in this problem we have antimony, which has an average molar mass of 121.75 grams per mole. And it consists, consists of two isotopes, one with a mass of 120.9 grams per mole, and the other with a mass of 122.9 grams per mole. And what we'd like to know is how much of each of those two isotopes we have in a sample of antimony. And the equation we have is that the average mass is equal to the mass of isotope 1 times its fraction, or times the fraction of isotope 1 plus the mass of isotope 2 times its fraction. And in this problem, we've got all of the masses and none of the fractions. So let's put in what we know. The average mass we know to be 121.75. The mass of isotope 1 is 120.90 grams per mole, and its fraction we don't know, so we'll just call that x. Plus, the mass of isotope 2, which is 122.90 grams per mole, and its fraction we don't know, but we know that the combined fractions of those two isotopes have to add up to 1. So if we call the, is the fraction of isotope 1 x, then the fraction of isotope 2 is just 1 minus x. And now we've got an algebra problem and we can solve for x. So let's go through the algebra. 121.75 is equal to 120.90x plus 122.90 minus 122.90x. So minus 1.15 is equal to minus 2x. So x is equal to 0 0.575. And that's the fraction of isotope 1. So the isotope 1 with a mass of 120.90 grams per mole is 57.5% of the antimony. So the other isotope with a mass of 122.90 grams per mole must be the rest, which is equal to 42.5% of the antimony.